Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're going to take a look at Figma number 435, Kitty Toe, and this is the Elicitation version. Um, I've always been a low-key fan of Sword Art Online. Um, I don't really care about a story because I know a lot of people have really strong opinions on how bad it is. But yeah, I just enjoy the character and, you know, figures that fight with swords. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And that's not wasting any more time and bust this thing open and see all we got. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, looking really nice, and let's check it out. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and my first impression on this figure is just okay. Um, everything is exactly as I imagined, um, nothing really stands out to me, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, as usual, the paint job is really clean for the most part, I don't seem to have any paint issues, the joints are nice and tight, and let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, it's a fairly simple design, so we don't really have that much attention to detail to go with, but yeah, um, it's a Kirito figure, alright? And yeah, let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can tilt his head side to side, no problem. And the shoulder, we actually have the newer design. Um, they do this a lot with the girl Figma. You can pull this out so it gives you a little bit more range, but um, it can look very gappy and weird at some angles, so you might have to play around with it. But gives you a lot of mobility for sure. And you do have swivel here, obviously. You can curl about this much, and you do get the hinge wrist. And for the ab crunch, you can only bend forward about this much. Can't really bend backwards. Um, very limited side to side movement. And for the leg, um, you are able to pull the hips down, so it gives you a little bit more range. You can kick up about this high, bend about this much. Thigh swivel, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And of course, all this skirt piece is on a softened material. And yeah, um, pretty decent I think. Um, definitely a huge improvement over the previous Kirito's, but I kind of like the first outfit better. Hopefully we get a 2.0 version of that. And yeah, um, let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of smiling face, but I know this is show accurate. He's always happy, um, have all the wives and shit, but I don't know. I just want a stern looking face when he's looking a little bit more serious. And next up, we get a hmm, cocky smiling face looking to the side. And lastly, we get a shouting face. And it looks really good, but honestly, I would have much prefer if we get the exact same face but with a mouth closed. Hmm. And for the interchangeable hands, I'm not going to go over the details because it does come with a rack. And I'm going to show you guys in the action poses anyways. And for the sword, we have the nice guy sword. Um, very nicely painted and sculpted. Um, these are always nice. Um, and we have the sheath version. Uh, obviously, you can take this out. I'm um, kind of unfortunate we can't just put the sword in. I know a lot of people like that, but yeah, they seem to be going with this gimmick a lot. Not sure if that's cheaper or not. It's probably cheaper from a factory standpoint. And here's the bloody rose. And yeah, um, I believe that's everything. And let's check out some action poses. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Figma figures. And I think Kirito is at a pretty good size. Um, it scales fairly well with most of your stuff. And next up, we have some Dragon Ball SH figure arts and Fat Floor. And lastly, I have some random figures I have around. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, the figure is honestly a little bit underwhelming for me. And the biggest issue I have is obviously just the face play selection. I feel like the facial expression they chose is only good for one instance. It's gonna look great on a shelf, but it's very limiting in my opinion. Um, I really want a serious looking face. Um, same issue with SH Figure Art Sasuke, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, they're not shouting all the time. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion. I'm definitely really biased because I'm a big fan of Kirito, so I have high expectation for this figure. And yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. Again, still a great figure, gonna look good on your shelf, but I think at best, this figure is only decent. And yeah, um, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!